Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So this week I have purchased some papers. So this is from Louise at Thompson's Craft Supplies. Um, currently, well, she's got lots of lovely paper packs, but these ones here, which are by Minte, by Corolla, and these are just, they're just so nice. They're really different to a lot of papers that are out there at the moment. These are from Poland. Um, and just really, really lovely design. So this particular one that I've picked first, I haven't used the Minte products before, so I just went for one paper pack initially, but I'm certainly gonna get some more. This was about 8.99, I think it was, for the 12 by 12. So it's called Birdsong, absolutely stunning images. I'm gonna give you a quick flick through, because I know there's probably quite a few of you um, watching that probably have never heard of them, as, you know, same as me, I didn't. So gives you an overview there of what to expect. The front page is also not wasted, which is great. So when you're coming to the end or, you know, even straight away, you know, you can start cutting these out really lovely. I love that they've got the succulents here. I just love the, the just the palette, the colours and everything here is just really pretty. Now they are, I guess, aimed, some of the papers are aimed towards scrapbooking. So if you're not into scrapbooking, there may be things like this particular kind of layout. You might be not too sure what to do with, but you can certainly maybe cut this part here and that would be lovely in on, you know, man mounted onto a card blank for example so there are ways to use them um, but there's that one but then on the reverse side you've just got this really close kind of photograph of just a wall and all the paints kind of chipping off of it but it just works really really well on this paper but again if you were to do this with like gift bags i think that would look quite cool but for me predominantly these are going to be used for scrapbooking you've got this beautiful one here but you've got the two of each design so you can easily make boxes they're really good quality nice and thick the actual does it say the gsm 240 so that's a really nice weight that is a cardstock weight and i would use that i actually use sometimes less than that to make gift boxes and bags so this will definitely work so you've got that design then this one here you've got just really kind of flaking wood grain there which is lovely and you can see all look where the woodworms got into it and stuff so really really lovely rustic this one i love i mean in the picture this looks like i've got a real metal knocker <laughs> in front of me because it is that it's a true life photo that's just been blown up or magnified really really close up and you can just see how cool is that really really fun um this is going to be great for layouts and things like that and then on the back you've got this one here absolutely love these and then we're back to that one and then i haven't that's the same but then you've got this floral design on there and you've got some really nice kind of romantic script there and then that's the back and then you also get this paper here which has got all these lovely tags and just smaller kind of elements from the papers throughout and then on the other side there is plain so if you did want to make a gift bag you've got a really nice matching gift tag to go with it so there are some more two more i think but i've already used them and they're becoming in a project project later on this week so yeah that's them there i'll share all the links to louise's website and go and check out the other ones because if you're not so keen on bird song there's about i think there's about six maybe six or eight different paper packs by Minte, and they're really really lovely so go check them out then i was in wh smith the other day and i've picked up some magazines which i'm going to show you in a moment and they had a clearance section and i found some vintage first edition so this is from i think i saw on the back 2000 and i want to say 11 although now it's saying 2014 but I don't think that's to do with this paper pack. So I looked online and I'm sure this was 2011 or 2012. I need to double check it. You'll see in the comments anyway, but it's an older style. I never had this one and it was five pound bargain. There's 48 sheets, three sheets, 16 designs, 200 GSM, heavyweight cardstock. So you all know, obviously I'm on the design team for Trimcraft, but you know how much I love the first edition papers and these are just really different i haven't got these ones like i said so i haven't really got this style but it's nice that there's some blues in here as well so they'll be great for obviously cards for guys and projects and things like that this i really like love that one there um this is nice again it's got like a almost like a poem over that really nice butterfly background this one i love that one all the music notes look at them they're really really vibrant colors yellows and the reds and the navy there they look lovely against the green leaves um this one here just a nice subtle polka dot but they're always great for your background so again that works really nice together florals and then these go into your textured so this is like a canvas love that one 
it's like your vintage almost like uh display you know like in a a book the vintage books of, of the, all the flowers um or they'd be in like a glass cabinet that's how, what that reminds me of so again i've got those three then you've got your pearlized ones here that's going to make a beautiful gift bag stunning absolutely love them um that one there it's got a texture on it and this is another one with just elements that are shiny you see the bird there you've got the butterflies lovely another pearlized one great fussy part um fussy cutting images in this as well another textured one it's like a fabric and this one Ooh, love that love 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 so yeah if you can get over to wh smith i mean this was the last one that was on the shelf so and i know the clearance has been going for a while but maybe one or two of you might be able to still grab this but really nice botanical notes love it really cute so that's that one and then i went to pick up my usual 12 by 12 cardstock that i have been using now for about two years 18 months two years and um, this is capsule assorted colossal colors and I'm down to literally, well, just not the not so popular colours. I've got lots of oranges there, perfect for, Valen, um, for Halloween. And then I've got a few deep reds and I've got another one of these and it's got the browns and just colours that I don't go to every day. So they didn't have that one, but they did have the Dovecraft. And I figured, you know, as I'm on the design team for Trimcraft, I should, you know, try out their cardstock as well. So I've not used this one before. This is the premium textured cardstock. It's exactly the same. GSM actually I think it's a little bit more so actually I think I've just lied this is only 216 yeah 216 GSM whereas this is 220 so it's a little bit heavier but the good thing about this that I actually now prefer more to the old one that I used to get is you get four sheets of every color now the other one that I use you only get one of every color so if you do want to make like a large gift bag or something, I've always had two packs, so it's not been an issue for me. But I know a few people have messaged and said, oh, I really like the card, but it's a shame they don't do the colour in more than just that one. Whereas this, you've got four sheets of 20 colours. So you don't get as much variety. There's not as many tones in each colour. But yeah, it's you have got more. So this is dyed cardstock. So let's have a little look inside. So this is a textured cardstock. But it's not textured like you think it feels really smooth but it has got a very 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 slight grain it's not even picking it up but it just looks like a normal cardstock to be honest but um yeah let's just bring out the colors here a bit better okay so there's all the colors so like i said not as many shades of each color but certainly a nice variety there and their colors their newer colors like i love that real vibrant turquoise color there and i love this deep wine color the navy that's always good to have you know it's got a nice deep kind of teal green there so yeah really really nice selection four of each color and it's a nice weight as well so i find that this weight is really good especially when you're making like gift boxes and bags because you can fold it quite a lot um if you go too thick like 300 gsm which i do use but I don't tend to do more real complicated folds or something that has a lot of folds to it because um, it can just become too bulky and actually it will crack and that's even on a really good quality. You know, cardstock will only be able to fold and have so much kind of strain put on it, but this kind of weight is really good and it's what I've used for a long time. So yeah, looking forward to using these new colours. Then I picked myself up some of the Hunky Dory Purple Low Tack Tape. I like to use this when I'm doing any kind of watercolouring um, because it is low tack, it just doesn't damage your project. So I've got Got two of them these were from craft stash and again i'll share all the links below and then i recently put in an order with the works uk um they've got lots of new stuff in there they've started stocking crafters companion um and i'm really liking some of their paper packs at the moment as well so i thought i would order a few things a couple of bits i'm a little bit disappointed in and i'll tell you those in a moment but the rest of it really really pleased with what i've got so the two that i'm a little bit disappointed in are these i guess they're just a little bit big for my liking and closer inspection i think they're a little bit naff i mean look in there you can see the plastic um they're all a bit frayed the picture of them on the website looked a lot nicer than this so whether i break them down which i probably will i won't waste any of this i never waste anything but i certainly i can take them apart and probably use them so i mean look you can just see all that there it just looks you know you just when you look at some artificial flowers um yeah they just look a bit naff in my opinion um and then these ones again i mean i know they've got a bit bent obviously in the packaging but you look closely at the centers they're just yeah i don't really like them that's not complete there that looks dirty more than anything 
the pink ones I'll save all of those and the cream but I think these blue I'm not yeah just not blown away with them again online they look great this if this is something maybe you use for mixed media and you actually then gesso everything or cover over it um you know with paints and things like that and spray them then these are great you know they're going to be perfect for that because you're not going to see any of this but if you want them for what they really are I think they're really dull they look brighter in the video but they're not they're actually quite dull and a little bit dirty that's quite gray believe it or not so yeah disappointed with them so you might see them you might not <laughs> but all of this i'm really pleased with so i picked up these i like these kind of um they're like a gunmetal kind of you know silver metallic whatever it is you want to call it but they're great for when i do like i keep saying the more masculine style cards and things like that so i picked them up they're only a pound i like these little tassels i'm doing some mini albums um and also in my own planner and things like that they're really really cute again only a quid can't go wrong picked up two of these i always like these for quick cards and again if i'm ever doing any like commissions and stuff they're always handy these were a pound each they're the back to basics dovecraft collection and just really nice colors there um, and there's lots of birthday ones which is what i wanted so you've got one two three four birthday ones and then four with love so i really liked those oh Oh, I thought I got three then. No, I should have got two of this one. I forgot. That's another one. This one says, it's your day thinking of you. It's your day thinking of you. Yeah, and so on. So it's the same. Got them. Then there's this colour here. I've already got this one, which is very, very similar. This is slightly more pinky, but I use these loads. Um, and I can't remember where I got them from. So I think it was a back to basics. So I saw these ones and they're slightly more purple but I love making shaker cards so they're going to get used a lot and I thought they all obviously it's all from the same um, collection so they all work really nice together then I picked up these so I got these two here um, and I was drawn to these because they're balloons so it's the alphabet but each letter is a balloon shape and then you've got the little kind of strings that you can have down from the you know the balloons um, I just really liked it. So it was £6, but I think that's really good value for the whole alphabet. They're a nice size as well. So these ones measure each one, well, if I go by the width, three quarters of an inch by three quarters of an inch. I think that's a really nice size. That's perfect for fitting on your cards. So again, £6. Now I know that a lot of the M&C Boutique, you'll probably see this in a lot of um, kind of just rebranded packaging. So you'll probably see it in the range under, I think it's Craft Sensation or craft something like that you might see it then because a lot of those do kind of um, I see a lot of the dies that are sold under this name also sold in the range under another name so I'm sure if you don't have the works near you or somewhere like that then have a look out in the range because I bet you'll find them eventually and then for three pound they've done the numbers which again I just thought were brilliant so really nice balloon effect they've all got the little kind of bottom of the balloon there with the knot just thought they were really nice so three pounds so I got those they're kind of staples for me something that will always get used then I saw this lovely dragonfly I don't have a dragonfly die and the reason I like this one is because you can die cut the base of the dragonfly and then you can die cut the detail of the butterfly as well so sorry the dragonfly <laughs> so that's going to look really nice you're going to see that a lot because it's either a butterfly or a dragonfly or a flower so that will get used and then I already have the plain happy birthday and now they've brought out this one with the stars and I really liked that two pound so again it's a great topper die and um, I'll show you the plain version so that's how the plain version looks and then this one is exactly the same but it's got the stars so I just thought it was a nice update because I've had that one for a long time and then I got these two which I thought are really really fun very very on trend at the moment so this one says it's birthday o'clock the big hand is on the gin is on gin brilliant and then may your birthday be filled with happiness and prosecco thought they were both really really good nice size they're great toppers great for just the inside of your card but i love sentiment stamps they will always get used never get old those ones and then i picked up this paperback not only do i love it but it was also to bulk up the order um because they had 20 percent off till midnight in celebration of the birth of baby archie or prince archie so um is it prince is he prince i'm not sure if he is yet i don't know how it all works anyway this one was really nice and it's a nautical theme which i loved so this one's called fresh feelings three pound absolute bargain the papers are really nice um love that background this one here i think it's really really nice again great for more masculine style cards love that kind of mosaic print you've got the fishes or is that a whale no there are lots of little whales on that one and this one here is just a really cool it's almost like a tie-dye background and then it's got that white image over the top that's really nice love that it's like a splash um 
these ones really pretty watercolors in the flowers there and you've got watercolor shells sea, uh, seahorse dolphin jellyfish turtle crabs anchor loads of images there really nice love that one there that reminds me of a famous artist um, again it's on the end of my turn can't think what it is look at that how cool is that love that effect these are going to look so cool on the back of cards like card blank um you know for your mats and layers and things that one there that one just really lovely colors this here's got your whale and your stingray octopus love those really nice backgrounds and then you're into the center and then it goes back and repeats again so brilliant for three pounds you can never go wrong i think they're such good value for money um again this is by the work this one's from the works but they also sell them in the range this same make and create they usually do like three for two and stuff um, sometimes as well and then two of the magazines that i've picked up so i have the Simply Cards and Paper Craft, this is issue 191, and the free gift is this beautiful bloom set here. So I've already been using it, and if you'd seen my Arteza brush pen video, you would have seen the cards I've made, and I'll show you those in a moment. But the reason I brought this one, because I loved it so much, is this lovely die and stamp set. And it's a really nice size, and stamps beautifully, and just really, really like it. So, yeah, got that freebie, and obviously the magazine is just full of inspiration. As always, our magazines are good, but these are the cards, just to show you. So I made this one here. That's die cut. This is die cut. Um, and then it was that leaf there, and that leaf. Yes, yeah, so that one I fussy cut, and that I fussy cut, but the rest. So I thought that was really nice, and there's the same again in this one. Really pretty. And that's the die that comes with it which is this one here. So love that one, like I said, Simply Cards and Papercraft issue 191. And then I got this one as well. Um, I've already done a really nice project with this, which should be coming out, I think it's maybe about a week and a half, you'll see that one. Um, love this stamp set, really, really cute. You've got this lovely little plaque and you can add in whatever it is that you want it to say. These are all really nice images. Got the little welly boots there, the picket fence, love grows here little plant pots and the flowers you've got a little carrot there it's so cute that's a little um turnip i think it is or is it a radish anyway i think one's a turnip one's a radish or a swede anyway <laughs> let's not get into that and you also get the little dye there with the watering can which is super cute but what the main reason that drew me to it was this embossing folder it's a really handy one so i've got this shed embossing folder and it's really fun and i've used it love it um, loads of inspiration again I'm not going to show you the magazine because you know it's a nice surprise for if you do go and buy it but you can just see some of the overviews um, there of the cards that are inside and just one example there on the front with all those little elements to it love it really really cute so there you go guys that's everything this week it's really I just wanted to kind of show you these papers absolutely love them just think they're beautiful that was a nice little crafty find so I'll be sharing some tutorials you know as and when with that one and the magazines I always like to share the magazines that I really do enjoy using myself um, and like I said I think these are really handy and you know if you're starting off these are great especially when you can get the die and the stamp to match and that's 5 99 for that magazine and I think that's a bargain because you'd pay that for the stamp and die that is a genuine I think value um, and then the magazine with all that inspiration is obviously a bonus so yeah all the links as always will be shared below I'll be back tomorrow with my Friday tutorial and I'll see you all then thanks for watching bye